Good afternoon, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, so I've got some good and exciting news. I don't know if you guys watched my last vlog, but I was talking about how I might have some good news to share with everyone, and I didn't want to tell you guys just yet because I didn't want to jinx myself. And I'm really excited about this that I'm about to tell you, but I'm also really sad. So basically, I'm getting a new car. And from what I know, I'm getting it tomorrow. I'm not telling you just yet. I kind of want to do like a, a vlog reveal, kind of. Like, I don't know. I don't want to spoil I want to be like, I want to have a surprise for all my subscribers that want to watch and see what I'm getting. Only thing is I'm really sad that I have to give back my 300. I'm trading it in, so. It's like really sad because, you know, this is my first car, you know, I got it at 16, like the day after I turned 16, I got this car. Um, it's been nothing but good to me, you know, I've had so many good memories in this car. I've had it for about a year and a half, I still have like a while until I would even have to like turn it in, but I'm just gonna miss it a lot. Like, it's just, it was, it's been such a good car, it was so good in the Michigan winters. Um, I think it looks really, really, really nice. I love the way this car looks. The inside is very nice. It's very like luxurious, I feel. And I just think overall it suits me really well. And a lot of people told me they think it suits me really well too. But all good things come to an end and I'm gonna be having a way nicer car, I think. And my new car is basically fully loaded. It's got like every option you can get. It has like a nice sunroof which I really wanted. It's got like so many new safety features. It's got just so many things that I will obviously tell you guys once I get it. I'm obviously gonna do a car tour and everything. And I'm really excited to get my new car. Everything's going well, but I'm really gonna miss this car so much. I'm gonna miss it a lot. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. I don't know if I'm being too extra or I don't know, do people get attached to their cars? Like. I don't know. I just feel like I've had some, so many late night Taco Bell runs in this car. So many treacherous driving conditions I've been with this car that it kept me safe. Um, I've gone to the mall so many times in this car. I don't know. It's just like, it's just your first memories of driving. And every time when I'm older that I think back of me being a young teenager, I'll probably think of this car. And I don't know. It's just a big step to like move up to a new car now. And I'm just really saddened to buy it. And this is going to be the last last full day I have with this car because tomorrow I'm going at like 11.30 in the morning to um to get this car, my new car and sorry, the, it's crazy how bad these roads are and I'm just really sad but happy it's good news, I'm just I'm just being a little too dramatic I guess you could say anyways right now I'm on my way to get some Taco Bell because it's Friday, Friday and I'm just I'm starved, I've been craving good food, and I want to eat good, and we still don't really have that much food at home even though I went grocery shopping. Like, my brother's just really picky, so like he never lets me make anything. He always wants me to go get something. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I don't think I'm gonna get myself that much. I think I might just get myself like a seven layer burrito, and like a chicken quesarito, I think that's it. Like, that'll just be it for all night. Like, I'll have one now, one later. Um, because I need to drop some weight, honestly. Like, since senior year started, I've just been eating so unhealthy. And, like, I need to calm down because everyone says, like, your first year of college is when you gain a lot of weight. And it's like, if I'm having issues now trying to, like, eat healthy, like, I'm going to have a rude awakening once college starts. Which is in late August of 2017, I start college, I think. Or it might be early September. I thought it was late August. I'm not sure, but college is definitely freaking me the F out. You know, it's scary to think about. It's so different. And, you know, you meet all these new people. You don't know all these people like how you do in high school, you know? Like, when you go into high school, you basically know everyone in your school, you know? Yeah, you might not get along with them. You might not like them. No one might even talk to you, like me. But you know what? I hate most of them anyways. No offense. A lot of them bug me. But once I start college, I'm gonna be like, oh my god, I miss everyone from my high school because it's like at least you knew them, you were familiar with them. College is all different from what I've heard, and a lot of pe a lot of people like college way better than high school. People can't wait to get out of high school. I can't wait to get out of high school, but you know what? I don't know. So I'm about to order right now. I don't. know. I'm getting those things, and I might get um, a Baja Blast. 
that I'm about to order. So my brother asked me to get chips and cheese, and obviously I stole one as I drive because that's my tax, you know? I'm going to get him food. I'm gonna steal a chip. I mean, I don't care. I'm gonna steal another. Watch. Bet. Sorry. Oh, shoot. Honestly, potholes are so bad. I just need to do like a. Sorry if this grosses you out. But I kind of want to do like a mukbang or mukbang, however you say it. I think that'd be kind of funny. Not that I'm making fun of people that do it. I'm just saying I think it's a cool thing to do. And I love watching them. Especially Trisha Paytas. Like, girl, I hardcore support her. I know she's a little nutty, just a little bit, not being mean if she ever sees us ever. Which, obviously not. I've got like not even 200 subscribers yet, which I'm actually really close to 200 subscribers. Currently at 190. Thank you, everyone. We're almost at 200 subs. That'd be so fun and so cool. If I eventually get to 200. Whoa! Whoa! That bitch literally threw something out the window and almost hit my car. Honey, watch yourself. I know I'm acting a little like crazy right now, but I'm like I'm desperate to go home now because I don't want to be on the road. I don't like rush hour traffic. I just don't. And I had to clean out my car, take everything out. I got so much crap in like the drawers and stuff and the change and things everywhere. I mean, I'm just. It's gonna make me sad, I know that for sure. Once when, when, so I see this car empty, basically look brand new. I'm gonna be so sad. Nothing I can do about it either. I'm just excited to get my new car. I've been waiting all week. I'm like, all right, I'm going to get it. Can't wait. Cannot wait. And all I'm gonna say, if you're watching this now, maybe you've already seen the video, if it's up by now, if you're just watching this. I'm gonna give you this head. It's an SUV, which is different than my car now. Only thing I'm scared about is that gas mileage, though. Like, I felt, I thought my car was bad, and gas, sorry, there's so much shaking that's going on here. I thought my gas mileage now was bad. Oh, wow, I'm in for another rude awakening. Once I have to be filling that gas tank, easy $60. I was complaining that it was taking me like $43 to fill my tank now, when it's gonna take me so much more. I mean, maybe I was thinking wrong, well, I don't know why I'd get an SUV for college. What? All right, guys, it's like 7.35 and it's time. I'm so sad, but I have to clean my car out. I have to get it done because I'm, I'm going to the dealer tomorrow at 11.30, I think, I'm going to get my car. So... Obviously got a plastic bag for all the change. I gotta grab all my paperwork out, cords, chargers, aux cord. I gotta get everything out. I'm kinda sad about it, to be honest. I'm so stupid, but you know what? I'm not gonna feel bad about feeling stupid. I'm just emotionally attached to this car, you know? I've had it for a long time. Not really a long time, but like, it was my first car, so here we go. Guys, it literally hurts me so much. Like, yes, I'm excited for my new car. Like, really excited. But, like, <laughs> I'm going to miss you so much. This car. Absolutely love it. Slays me hard. I absolutely adore this car. Um, it's been such a great time having it. I mean, I did show a car tour before, but I just want to show everyone one last little look at my car before I have to give it back. It didn't have a sunroof, so that's one thing I didn't like about it, but it was still such a nice car. You know, every time my car vlog sits up here, or my camera sits up here for my car vlogs, this is like a rubber mat, and like nothing slips off it. And then I've got like my big touch screen, I've got my scent portable, here's all the controls down here. The gear shifter, I gotta take all this out. My dirty floor mats. 
Oh, one thing I did love about this car is it did have a Beats audio system. And then here's the back seats. No one ever really goes back here too much, but I just have my cord, a textbook, and a blanket. And yeah. And then I gotta get some things out of the trunk too. Let's see what I have back here. I've got just like a car kit and um, some snow thing. And then my Beats. Um, I think it's a subwoofer, I'm pretty sure. I don't, all I know is this audio system in this car is amazing. I'm gonna miss you so much, but you know, it's time for an upgrade. Now I just gotta clean this car out, which is gonna hurt me. I'm gonna do so much. Sorry about my um, ratchet garage. I know it looks so messy. We've never organized any of this, but yeah. I'm gonna miss this so much. I think it fit me really good too, so that's what makes me sad. But you know what, life goes on. I'm gonna miss this car, but I don't know. Definitely recommend a Chrysler 300 if anyone is considering getting one out there in the future or has one. Absolutely recommend this car. It's just an amazing car. The gas mileage isn't that good, but everything else. It handles like such a good luxury car, and I think it is like partial luxury. It's obviously not a Mercedes or Audi, but it's pretty dang close, I think, because I've driven in all kinds of cars, and I don't see a difference. And yeah, final look. Everyone say bye. This is the last time you'll see her in a vlog. Last car vlog I've ever done with her. I know I just keep repeating myself at this point, but... It just hasn't hit me. Alright, I know it's kind of dark in here, but... Well, it's all packed up. Here's me. I've got just one last thing to put away, and this is my little cross rosary thing that I keep on my mirror. Just to have something watch over me. And it's going in this bag full of everything that was in my car. And to be honest, I'm slightly depressed. I love this car. You know, literally everything is empty. Empty. Empty, 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 empty. Empty. Okay, I'm leaving this because I, I literally have a hard, the hardest time scraping up those things from the bottom. Empty. Literally, guys. This is the last time I'm going to be in this car on camera. I know I've said it before, but... Dang. It's been a good run, 300. Alright, time for my new car tomorrow. I can't wait. Um, I hope everyone is excited. I'm excited. I'm ready for my new car. I can't wait. It's so nice. Um, I just don't know why I get so emotional over the dumbest things. I'm literally the most emotional person anyone will ever meet. And, yeah, I don't know. I guess this car was just very special to me because it was my first car. I guess. I know that's all I talk about this vlog, but I still can't get over it. And, you know, I really don't care what people are going to say if they're like, oh my god, he's so extra. Yeah, I know I'm extra. Sorry. But it's just been something really important to me, I guess. It's, like, the biggest thing I've ever gotten. Like, a new car at the age of 16. So, and I took very well care of it. But, yeah. This is it. I mean, obviously I have to drive it to the dealer tomorrow, but basically this is my last time being in the car grabbing my stuff i'm gonna be so dramatic last time it's okay it's gonna be an upgraded new year new me right i mean we're still in the first month of 2017 why not get a new car right this is the link that i had in the back i shouldn't be so emotional over it literally See you later.